Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the AutoFish mod for Minecraft 1.15.2. This is going to allow you to automatically catch fish in Minecraft, which is going to be pretty helpful because fishing is one of the more boring <laughs> activities in Minecraft. So what is this mod? Well, as you can see, this mod is automatically reel in and recast your fishing rod when you catch a fish. Just cast the rod one time into the water and then let the mod do the rest. It's very simple to use. Just catch, just cast the fishing rod into the water and then it will automatically reel. Just kind of repeated itself there. But the configuration is pretty simple and pretty cool. So you can basically, via V, you can change the key. But if you press V on your keyboard, you can open the GUI up and it allows you to enable auto fish, which is turning the mod on and off. The multi rod, which after using up a rod, it will auto switch to the next next rod so that's pretty cool if you like you know run out or break a fishing rod and then enable break protection ignores fishing rods once you are they're almost broken basically it's not going to break it but it's going to come just close to breaking it and then use sound detection allows you to use the sounds to detect catches instead of motions and that's only good for multiplayer single player uses its own detection however one thing i will say is many multiplayer servers right actually don't allow auto fishing on it ours included and it's usually disabled and the fact of if this mod is detected it you'll get uh, killed automatically um, and it's pretty easy to detect on the server side just so you all know before you go and try to use this on play.breakdowncraft.com which is our server or any other minecraft server for that matter most of them are going to have a kraken that just automatically kills you or usually will warn you and then it will kill you if you continue to use auto fish so pretty cool stuff there but nevertheless let's go ahead and check out the auto fish mod first of all we have a much more sponsor which is apex minecraft host you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNOS picked in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want an incredible Minecraft server that you can use AutoFish on it all you want because you'll own it, go check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. It's really the easiest way to start a Minecraft server for you and your friends. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get AutoFish. So to do that, you want to go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is AutoFish's official download page, right? And everything is here for AutoFish. What we want to do is come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until we see this Minecraft 1.15 section. And then under that, you will have a AutoFish 1.15 version. Click the purple download button to the right of that. That will then take us off to the Curse Forge download page, where our download will begin in just a few seconds. Once it begins, it will be in the bottom left in Google Chrome, where we will need to click the Keep file there. We'll need to click Keep to save the file. It's 100% saved as long as it has AutoFish in the title. Now on the little Firefox, it's going to open up in the center of your screen and ask you to save it. You want to save it there as well. Now we're not done downloading, so we need to download two things. First is Fabric. This is going to be the mod loader that is used in order to open up the AutoFish mod. Once you're here, you want to click on Vanilla, and then you just leave the installer the same. You don't need to change anything. Just click on Vanilla. And then click on download installer universal slash dot jar right it's important that you click the universal slash dot jar version when you click on that it's going to download in the bottom left again you will need to keep the file it's 100 safe as long as it has fabric in the title and then on mozilla firefox again save it in the server screen as long as it has fabric in the title it's 100 safe then we have the fabric api here this is the last thing we need to download and the fabric api is basically the kind of well it's an api right it links with the mod to fabric and makes everything work all happy together so once you're here you want to come over here to the right hand side again scroll down until you see the minecraft 1.15 section there it is and then under that you will see release and then 1.15.2 click the purple button next to the 1.15.2 section and the download will begin in just a few seconds once your download has begun you will see it in the bottom left down there we have the fabric api it's safe to keep it as long as it has fabric in the title ours does so we can keep it same thing on mozilla firefox you know the drill at this point save it in the center of your screen as long as fabric is in the title now we go ahead and minimize our browser in our desktop we have the autofish mod we have fabric and we have the fabric api now if you have these unconfirmed things they'll disappear later just leave them for now basically the downloads are still finishing and processing on my computer those will be finished though by the time we install them so we drag them out of the way what we want to do though is if these aren't on your desktop they're going to be in your downloads folder and to find that click the little windows icon for me it's in the top left of my screen for you it's in the bottom left of your screen most likely but it's going to be in the top or bottom left of your screen that little windows icon click on that and then go ahead and type in downloads if i can spell downloads right like that and you'll have a downloads file folder click on that and in here you'll have auto fish and fabric drag them to your desktop just for ease of use now let's go ahead and get these mods installed we actually want to start off with the fabric installer here, right? So what we want to do is right click on the fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, what if I don't have Java or what if I do have Java and it just doesn't work? Well, no worries. Or what even if this doesn't look like this? These don't look like these Java logos. They look like something completely different. Minecraft files are 
Java, like not Java, excuse me, uh, RAR files with books or 7-zip files. What do you do? Well, no worries. We have a solution. In the description down below, you will find our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, mods, etc. And guess what? We're installing a Minecraft mod, so that means that this tutorial will work. It'll get everything all hunky-dory and looking great for Minecraft mods. So once you're here, you want to go ahead, download this tutorial, and then it should work. However, for whatever reason, you still can't open up Fabric. What you want to do is run the jar fix. So right here, come to this link in the description, run the jar fix, and then it will make all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. Now finally, we can come here, we can right click on the fabric installer, make sure it is the fabric installer, right click on that, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. Then it's going to go ahead, do some things, and open up the fabric installer here, where you just want to make sure Minecraft 1.15.2 is selected. If it is, you're good to go ahead and click the install button in the bottom center. It will then say done. Once it says done, you can close out of the launcher, and we're done. It's that simple. You've installed fabric. Now, we need to go ahead and install the fabric API and auto fish. Now to do this, we need to click the little windows icon again. Again, for me, it's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. It's going to be in the top or bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon. Click on that and then go ahead and this time type in run, R-U-N. And then have this run app here, this run application. Click on that. And then in this run application, you want to type percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign, percent, app data percent, exactly like that, and hit OK. Then it's going to open up our roaming folder here, where you'll have a dot Minecraft folder. And then in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, no worries. Don't freak out. Just right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M O D S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then you'll have this newly created mods folder here. Open that up and then take Autofish and the Fabric API and drag them into your mods folder. It's that simple and that easy. Now we're not done just yet. We still need to open up my, the Minecraft launcher here. And then instead of just slamming the play button, we want to make sure that the Fabric loader is selected. Now for us, it is automatically selected there, Fabric loader, as you can see. However, if you don't have that or if you click on this little arrow here and you don't have the Fabric loader, what do we do? Well, no worries. We can create one. Just click on the Installations tab up here at the top. And then we want to go ahead and click on the Plus and New button right see this plus new button there click on that now you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that because that is our own incredible grief protected survival minecraft and skyblock server we do have two grief protected survival servers medieval survival with a player based economy and 30 custom quests and aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy mcmmo jobs all that awesome stuff and then we do have skyblock as well with custom islands OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP, and so much more. It's awesome, so come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and Factions is coming soon. Nevertheless, we want to go ahead and click on this drop-down box under version, and here you'll have Release Fabric Loader, right like that. And once you find that Release Fabric Loader, click on that. I'm going to change my resolution, just freeze of use, and then go ahead and click Create in the bottom right. Now, if you didn't have Fabric Loader, you can click on Play. If you didn't, you'll have this new profile at the bottom that you created. It should say Fabric Loader under it. If it does, click the green Play button on that. And now, Autofish is installed. It's that simple and that easy. I will show you how to jump in game and all that stuff once we do get it loaded up. But at this point, it's loading up. It is installed, and you don't have to do anything else other than enjoy the Autofishing mod. It's that quick and that simple. Fabric mods are the same installation process as many Forge mods are, but it can be overwhelming because usually you do need this Fabric API here, right? So you do need that. One thing I will also mention is that if you are running Fabric with the Autofish mod, Minecraft's going to take a little bit longer to start, whereas Forge visualizes the process, you know, opens up that pre-launcher. Doesn't do that here, so we just have to wait a minute, and then it opens pretty quickly. If we look down at the bottom left, you will see Fabric modded, meaning that works. We can go into Options, and then we can go into Controls, and then if we scroll down here, we will see the Auto Fish mod. Now, as you can see by default, that is V to open the GUI. We're not going to change that, but that is where you can change that control. And now, if we go ahead and jump in game, I think this one will be okay, but we'll see. I might have some other mods that it might freak out about, so sorry if that's the case. But nope, looks like it's going to load us right on in here. And then once we are in here, we will be able to hit V, and sure enough, we do have enable auto fish, enable the multi rod, enable break protection, and then use sound base protection. So awesome stuff there. Now one thing I will say is that we do need a fishing rod, and then we will go into um, we will we will go do some auto fishing. So right over here is a nice swampy water that could be good for fishing. Probably not, but we're we're gonna give it a test over here. And then what we want to do is cast the rod. Hit V, enable auto fish, it is checked. And now I think we just kind of sit and wait, right? Now, where I'm in creative might have an effect on this, but I don't think it will. I think it will just wait for a second, and then once it finally does catch, who knows when that's going to be? We could be here a minute. Once it does finally catch, we will be, oh, I think it's about to happen. Boom, there we go. It auto fishes and recast, right like so. I did not touch the, I'll do it one more time, put the hands up. We'll go full screen so you can see that my hands are, in fact, not touching the keyboard at all. Or the, or the mouse or anything, and it's going to catch that a fish and recast it. 
and that's pretty cool, right? We're in creative, it's gonna work the same in sky and survival as well. So, simple stuff there. Caught fish is instantly caught and it's recast and my hands weren't even touching the mouse or keyboard. So pretty cool little mod there. It can be great if you're wanting to fish, but fishing is boring in Minecraft. Let's be honest. It is the most boring thing you can do in Minecraft. And I'm glad this mod exists. I am, especially for single player on servers. It does give an unfair advantage and that's why it's banned on most servers, but it is okay and awesome to use on uh, servers that are owned by you. So you don't have to worry about that on servers that are owned by you. And that's why Apex Minecraft hosting is so cool. You can check out Apex at the first link in the description down below. But nonetheless, at this point, there's no doubt that this mod is installed. We have caught three fish and we've not even lifted a finger to catch them. Pretty cool stuff. Don't you wish fishing was like this in real life? You know, you just kind of set your rod up and at the end of the day, you come back to a bucket full of fish. That would be incredible, but uh, unfortunately that's not the case. Is, is, does anyone else think fishing's kind of boring in real life? I, I used to fish a lot, but it's just boring to me these days. There we go, boom. Auto caught some salmon that time. Awesome stuff. Anyway, I will see you on the next video. I will see you online on play.breakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if it helps. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I'm out. Peace.